Welcome back, welcome back. So today we have more hardtop news to follow up the news from the last week's nonsense. We have 2025 Bronco Sport that was just announced two days ago and more. Stick around. Welcome to the Bronco break. All right. So first on the list, 2025 Bronco Sport that was announced on Monday. It was a refresh year, so we got a whole bunch of changes. I got the tech sheet right here. I'm not going to cover everything on this list because obviously I'm more of a Bronco person. Now, don't get me wrong. I think the Bronco Sport's a really cool vehicle. I got an escape in the driveway and I'm doing all kinds of mental gymnastics right now trying to justify trading in that escape for a Bronco Sport. It just, uh, it probably doesn't make sense, like just being honest, but I want it. I do want it. Regardless, I think some of the changes for the Bronco Sport, uh, you know, it might actually impact the 25 Bronco. So I'm going to take all of those Bronco Sport changes and there was a lot of them because it was a refresh year, but I'm going to, I'm going to summarize them all into three main points. First one is obviously the big one. It's the Sasquatch package. They added the Sasquatch package. This is obviously not a Bronco Sport, but they added the Sasquatch package to both the Badlands trim and to my surprise, also the Outer Banks trim. That Sasquatch package is very similar to the Bronco Sasquatch package. You got new tires, you got better suspension, you got a little bit of a lift. You also have, um, it's, not a, it's not a real rear locker. It's, a, it's actually a clutch pack that squeezes together, but it effectively acts as a rear locker that was already available on the Badlands. That's now also available on the Outer Banks if you get the Sasquatch package, which is pretty cool. You also have some styling changes, new bumpers, bull bar, all kinds of cool stuff. The new Sasquatch package was the change that just about everyone expected. They hinted at it earlier this month. We saw some spy photos already on Ford Authority, so no surprises there. I do think the Outer Banks getting the Sasquatch package was a bit of a surprise, but overall, no shockers. Now we get to the exciting stuff. Just about all of the Copilot 360 features, they're standard, like adaptive cruise control, standard option on a Bronco Sport. I did not expect that at all. We also got lane keeping, we got evasive steering assist, pretty much all of the, the Copilot features that used to be locked behind some sort of equipment package, all standard now. The only, the only features that are not are the 360 degree camera system, that's part of the Sasquatch package, I believe. Then we got the B&O sound system and then a few other things. But everything else, the big one, in my opinion, being adaptive cruise control, all of that is standard. That's that's crazy. So does that mean that the Bronco is going to get that standard? I don't know. And of course, the last big thing we have for this year is the interior changes. Um, it looks great. I think it looks great. They finally got Sync 4. A lot of Bronco Sport people were asking for Sync 4. Uh, overall, I think it is... They, they pulled a lot of stuff from the Escape interior. So if you saw the Escape refresh, when was that, a year or two ago, a lot of it is very similar to the Escape interior, but I do think it looks great. The one thing that really caught my eye was the digital gauge cluster. If they had a digital gauge cluster to the Bronco Sport, they gotta add it to the Bronco, right? Right, 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 right. I think, I think that makes sense. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Anyway, let me know what you think. The one thing that's kind of throwing me off is, is next year. Next year will be the 60th anniversary of the Bronco. So there's there's a little thing in the back of my head that makes me think that, that Ford might wait until next year to do the big refresh on the Bronco, but we'll see. Now back to everyone's favorite Bronco topic, hard tops. And no, it has nothing to do with the advanced fiberglass fiasco from last week. Ford, Ford is now selling these on the accessory website. It, they've been doing it for a while. Previously, it was by invitation only. Now it's open to everyone, so you too can go order a Bronco hardtop. When I checked last week, it was still available to order. Check today and it's sold out. So, um, sorry, but you can order it. A few people out there have already gotten their brand new hardtops from Ford. Comes in a big wooden pallet. Um, I don't think they can ship it to your house. I think it has to be shipped to a dealer. Don't, don't quote me on that, but looks great. Price is just shy of $5,000 at least as of right now. Um, you might think that's pretty expensive. I personally, if you compare that to the other aftermarket tops out there, it's pretty competitive in my opinion. So another option if you need a hard top. Also a quick update on, on last week's advanced fiberglass story. Just if you missed that long story short, company takes pre-orders for a hard top, costs people $6,000 to $7,000. Two years later, company never delivers hard tops, doesn't give refunds. Legal mess, blah, blah, blah. You can check out last week's video if you're more interested, but quick update. I don't really have an update. There seems to be, a lot of people seems to have successfully done a chargeback. Some people cannot do a chargeback because it's been too long. There's talks of, of class action lawsuits. There are talks of going to small claims court. 
Um, I don't think I don't think anybody's made any real progress on that, but maybe I missed something. Hopefully people can get their money back because like six thousand, seven thousand dollars, that is not a small amount of money by any stretch. Bronco events, I got one major event for you coming up soon. It is Super Celebration West in Colorado. It is um not this weekend, but the weekend, the weekend after. It is the week of, how do I describe this? It's the week after Labor Day. So it's the week of Labor Day. Uh, whatever, I'll stick a calendar on the screen. Supercell West, it is just south of Denver. Uh, Bronco Nation will be going. I've heard they have trail ride signups. Actually, I know they, I saw it online. They have trail ride signups on their website. I've heard great things about it. If you wanna go on a trail ride, go ahead and sign up. Uh, I think they close pretty quickly. So if you're interested, go sign up. That is, that should be fun. I wish I could go. I am just, I am on the uh, the wrong side of the country. All right, sun's almost gone, so I'm gonna get out of here. Uh, school, school starts this week for the kids. Hooray, I will have time. This is my backlog. I will be, uh, I will get through this pile eventually. So I'll have a video on something from this pile in the next couple weeks. Um, that's gonna be all for now. Enjoy your Labor Day holiday. I will, I'll talk to you later. Bye. You know, there was one thing I forgot to talk about in the first episode, and that was Bronco Stampede. That was that was the same weekend as Woodward. It's kind of a vendor trade show thing. I looked and I didn't see I didn't see anything come out of that event. So maybe I missed it. If I did, stick it down below. I'm I'm always interested in new Bronco gear, but um yeah, that happened. Cool.